so we're here, we're joining. You know, I like bringing on my partners, kind of introducing some people to them. I know it's crazy to think you guys don't know Josue. You know, he's an author now, a uh, team lead. You know, he's got a lot of things going on in the real estate industry, but I want to bring Josue on here and kind of introduce him to people. So what's going on, Josue? What's going on, Nick? How are you? How's everyone doing this afternoon or morning? <laughs> <laughs> right, man. It's fantastic. I'm really excited to bring you on here just because of the wealth and knowledge that you really have. So I want to dial it back. Like I said, I just want to kind of introduce to people like who who is Josue? So dial me back to like pre-real estate. Like talk to me a little about getting into the real estate industry. Well, prior to real estate, I was a semi-driver. Yeah. I did that for almost 20 years here locally. Right. But prior to that, I was a baseball player. I played professional baseball. And, <laughs> uh, yeah. And once I moved down here, I couldn't really find anything after I graduated from college and what it was. So I went right. back into the uh, trucking business. And um, back in 2005, Rebecca, you know, my wife yeah. and my business partner, she uh, she mentioned, she's like, man, you know, you got to do something else. You're, you're so educated. <laughs> you know, I feel like you have so much going on for yourself. I think that right now is the time for, for some change. And she's right. always, Rebecca, prior to being in the dental field, she worked for a real estate agent. Right, right. And she kind of knew about it. She always loved everything about real estate. So. I told her, she was like, hey, you know what? I want you to go take your test. And I'm like, wow, that sounds like a great idea. That <laughs> yeah. actually sounds like an amazing idea. So why don't we do this? Yeah. But we looked up the test and it was actually the same time. I always feel like everything is <laughs> the universe bring everything together. Right? right. Because it was the same time that I normally go on vacation. Right. right. Which is like the first, like uh, right before Christmas or two or three weeks off. And I was like, oh, that's great, good. But there's one thing. She was like, what's that? I said, like, you're going to do it with me. Yeah. <laughs> so we both took the one week course. And uh, yeah, man, back in late, uh, early 2006, we were a real estate license. And um, we worked for a small uh, independent brokerage, a friend of ours. Yeah. And it was great. You know, but we were able to, well, one of the most things, of, the thing with me is that yeah. I want to learn everything. I need to know everything. <laughs> right. So I just got, you know, we were able to, I was able to, kind of like partner up with someone that I always, till this day, I felt like that was God sent to me, an angel. Right. And he was amazing. I wrote a little bit about in the book about him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, and and let me tell you, that man, that, that gentleman took me under his arms and said, listen, I got a whole bunch of all these leads. He was big in radio marketing and everything. <laughs> so he, at the time, I mean, those that don't remember, it was, it was uh, short sell time. Right. Oh, yeah. That's when the market crashed. That's when the crash. That's when yeah. you guys start, started getting into it, right? Exactly. So the you market. started your real estate career during the crash. During the crash. Man. And you were still you were still working the semi-truck driver job, right? Yeah. Well, in the beginning, I, I did it for like almost a year. Right. Like part time. But Dude, how was that working? Because uh, like, you were on the road. I mean, you were on yeah. the road all the time. You are going to these places. And then you got to come back and do real estate. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, my wife and I, we kind of, we, we partnered up and we did it we did it the right way because at the same time our youngest which is 18 now yeah he was like two years old three years old right so i really didn't want her like she was still working part-time in the dental industry so we would kind of be able to jump it around right and while she was home after work she would come and she would set up all my appointments right i was on a semi <laughs> truck so y'all were really the power cut like you guys were going back and forth so it's like you're on the road she set appointments and you come back you know i think that, that the thing nick is um that People need to understand is like where there's a will, there's a way, man. Yeah. Uh, when, when you have to, when you, you say invest, man. When you got to stay <laughs> laser focused, you got to continue moving yeah. forward. Yeah. And uh, we were laser focused to build this business, man, from the beginning. Once we came in, man. So, man, so you are working the trucking job. You're getting into real estate. Like, talk to me about what was that transition where you finally said, like, I'm going full in. I'm going all in. Two feet jumping. Like, mm -hmm. what what was that like? It was um it was in August two thousand and seven. Right. It was actually I still remember to this day. My daughter, we were we were we were going out to the, the coast okay. to shoot her <laughs> sweet fifteen pictures prior, you know, party pictures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, there was an issue where, where I I had to get out of work early because I had to drive forty five minutes out to the coast to take pictures of the water and yeah. all that stuff with them and the kids. And you know, there was, and I always felt that you know that at that time we were doing pretty well already in real estate. Right. But you know, you always feel like that uncomfortable zone. Still, you want to make sure you get enough. Right. But I kind of knew that once I, I jumped, I was ready. Right. Right. And things occurred. You know, I had I had a little fallout with one of my uh, leaders, and at that moment, I realized, you know what, this is this must be God trying to tell me something. Yeah. So I went home. I changed, and I went all the way to coast, and I was upset. I had to clear my mind because I had to be there for my daughter. You right. Know? And on the way home, I spoke to my wife and she said, you know what, babe, you know, 
you know, you know, your heart is already. Right. I, I, I back you a hundred percent. But it was it was a transition <laughs> that was already in my mind. Yeah. I think that was the more of a clarification. Right. Uh, it's time. <laughs> like, you're like this is the moment. This is what I need to be doing. But I, the thing is that I always say, Nick, is that you have to take that same perspective and work in those sixteen hours a day, like I used to. I used to yeah. get up at three thirty in the morning. I used to wow. help her with our son. I used to feed him at four o'clock. Get in, get in my car, drive to work, turn on my truck, and work from four four thirty in the morning all the way to six thirty at night. Man, come home. Have they don't dinner make him like home. you anymore, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> have dinner. Have dinner with Rebecca. Would have dinner and everything ready. I would yeah. eat. She'll have my list of showings, and I would go to showings. I would be home nine thirty. That was my day. That was my routine, man. That was your routine. Yeah. Every single day, man. Every so getting up, day. I can't even imagine that, you know, especially yeah. like making that switch of mindset from mm -hmm. working one job, going to the next job. And then you have to be personable the entire time too. Yeah. Right. You, you know, and you're right. You're yeah. absolutely right on that. And I'm glad you mentioned that because one thing that I tell my agents and I tell myself every single day is that if I'm doing it for someone else, why not do it for me? Mm. You know, sometimes wow. what people don't realize is because they have that nine to five job, right? They're going in there. Some of them are not happy. Some of them are, right? Right. But they're not realizing that by them walking into that job, you're you're giving your time and effort away from your family. What's most important to mm. someone else? Yeah. Why not do the same perspective for you and your family? Well, when did that hit you? Did you well, always think that way? I always thought that way. You always thought that way. Yeah, man. Since I was little, I was. I'm very competitive. Yeah. You know that? <laughs> yeah. I'm a very competitive person. So. Right. I think that was, it's in my genes, you know, I always felt that, you know what, I, I was always a dreamer since yeah. I was a, I was a child. I remember I drew, I always wanted to own my own sneaker store. Yeah. And I'm telling you, it was like, is I'm it still years, coming? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, it might come. Those way sneakers. Yes. I, I, buy, I buy a pair. And, um, that was a dream that I've always had since I was, I was very young and I drew, right. I drew my, my, my logo and everything. And my mom always reminded me that I knew. I always knew you were going to be a business owner because since you were like very young age, you always dreamed of having a store. I'm right. Like, yeah, huh? <laughs> so, I, don't, you know, that's what my advice to everyone is that, you know what? Think about it this way. Yeah. You're going to pour your heart into someone else's business. Why not do it for yours? Mm. So now that, let's talk about this big transition that you made recently. Uh -huh. you know, all right. We'll, we'll bring the EXP name into it. But what I want to talk about is. What what problems did you see this solving for you? Because you know you were running a good business. You guys are you guys were doing great. What was that like key problem that you saw this solving for you? You know, I think the most key key point um, that we always touch on was the fact that we wanted to, you know, think about it this way: right. when you're doing your business plan, you got a one, three, five, ten. Yeah, that's your. That's your and I felt that that ten was very far away. Mm. Every time that will get closer. And you know, there's always a uh, 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 what we call flatline in our business. Okay. I, I I can never get over the hump. Yeah, we were top producing, right? But it was something that we could not keep up with systems, technologies, any of that. Every time we master something, boom, here comes something else. <laughs> Just like an iPhone, every six months is a new phone. Right. New so phone. That's how technology is running nowadays, and you and I right. know that very well. Yeah. So that was the more, one of the most important thing. The second most important thing is to partner up with my my honey badger nation, the Alliance Group. <laughs> Love you all. Thank right. you so much for the opportunity. And that's very important to me that we were able to surround ourselves. There were people that we knew that we can pull up the chair at the table yeah. and, and really sit down and just listen. And they're able to be there for us 24 7. Man. Yeah. And, it's, and it hasn't failed. We just celebrated 18 months with this company, <laughs> and it has been the best move ever. For us, talk to me about a time like a time that you had to reach out to somebody within this group, and like you know they were there for you. Like what what was the specific problem that you had that you're like I need a solution to this, I need an answer to it. And you had to like reach out to someone who might have who might have been there before. All right. Um. Well, Veronica's always been. I mean, any any issues that I have, one of the one of the yeah. issues that I have is you know we're going through a, a, a team expansion now. You, yeah. you know that we've spoken a little bit about that. So you know we were able to go from like a five team about <laughs> five or five agent team to like 2025 20, right so those changes were pretty big those at a changes short are amount drastic. of time yeah. yeah those changes are very drastically so there was there was some issues that i had to learn and we went through but you grow from them and you're yeah. able to pick up that phone and call someone like veronica or someone like jay or anyone else that you you know what i love about our honey badger and our alliance group is that they're always accessible to you yeah no matter Man. what yeah you know so you know, look, that was one of the issues that we had. And, and even just just to pick up the phone and say, hey, you know what? 
I mean, I'm struggling with this. Yeah. How can you help me? Yeah, man. You know what, Josh? I think you're doing it right. Let's try to work on this way. Right. And what's cool about it is the connections that we have for one another. Yeah. If they don't have the answer, they're going to bring <laughs> They're going to bring someone else. We're going to find there. someone who has We're going to find someone to answer right. that question for you. And that's, right. and that's what I love. They never give up on that. Day. What, what do you see the differences between that that collaboration and, I, like, not to speak all about anybody, like, what what's that difference? Because, you know, theoretically, you, we could have this collaboration in any company anywhere. But I don't see it at the level that we have it. You know, we wouldn't be connected if it wasn't for this great group that we're with the Honey Badge. I can tell you this: fifteen years I've been in this business. Yeah, and I've never in these last eighteen months, I've never in my mind. I was just sharing that with a, with, with someone else while I was walking here. Yeah, I said if I would, if I can go back eighteen months and, and realize and see that I would be where I'm at right now and what I've accomplished in yeah. these eighteen months. I mean, I'm still growing, but right. in eighteen months. I would have never imagined it to be that quick. Right. So I remember one of our partners, Gil, sitting down and he said, so how do you feel? I said, I feel phenomenal. He goes, how's that 10-year plan now? Look, I said, five. Yeah. <laughs> and so, he says, that right. was our goal. Man, so like, all right, so like, let's, let's take a look at that. So like, you would have never seen yourself in that 18 months making those strides. Mm -hmm. What are some of those strategic points where if you didn't have this group, like what? What would it like? What do you see happening during those strategic points where these group kind of plugged in oh, and got you to make those leaps? Oh man, one of them was you know they made me think bigger than what I even thought about myself. Right. I always had this vision of growing, but I always had that fearful side of me. Yeah. And they were able to really help me understand that it's okay to fail. Mm. You know, right. it's okay to fail because when you fail, is this brings more growth into you. Right. You see more of you. You understand that you can pivot and grow from what you were failed on. Right. So when I was able to like kind of switch, you know, switch that and understand what they meant by that, it made a lot of sense. Man. Right. You know, and now I, if things occur now, I see it as they go along. I don't yeah. take it personal anymore because I'm like, you know what? It's okay. Yeah. Let's move on. Right. There's more coming. And you know, and that was one of the things, the leaderships that they, they provided, the, the coaching. Yep. I mean, when you're able to sit down. With our top top leaders, um, Jay, Jay and Mike, and even Brent and all of them at yeah. the table, and they're there to look at you, and they look at you and say, "What about me? Like, why not you? Why aren't you? Why not me? you? Yeah, I, I remember the same. Yeah, I still laugh. I'm sorry because Mike was like, "Okay, now that you wrote the book, what's next for you?" Yeah. Oh, okay, here we go. <laughs> but I love that because he's challenging me. Right. He's challenging me to see more of me than you, what what. It's more of what we, we, we need to, it's more, this yeah. is really the beginning. It's more, That's there's always mean. something next, you know, yeah. there's always a next level. And even more so with the group as big as this, there's Absolutely. somebody that's been there and done that, that can draw well, the roadmap. I love what Jay says best. He goes, honey badger is that is a percentage wise bigger than the company, even though yeah. we <laughs> as far as growth. Right. I love that he plugged that in because I wasn't yeah, even aware man. of that. Yeah. So for some reason we're doing something right. Right. And I think the biggest thing too is like just the way everything's set up, it's, you want to see the person you bring on doing better than you. Absolutely. You want like you're pushing for people to do better. Mm -hmm. It's not. It's not. I want to see you do good, but not as good as me. And yeah. It, oh my God, you touched on it right there. Yeah. That's it. That's it, Nick. Yeah. They want to see you grow, right. and they see they're not there to just guide you and not and keep you underneath them. They right. want to see you bigger than them. Yeah. And that that's my culture. Yeah. I mean, you you you've known us for a little while now, <laughs> and my heart. My wife and I heart is to basically we want to go out there and pour our hearts into everyone because right. we want to see them grow. We want to see them succeed. We want to see them bigger than me. I'll be honest with you. Yeah. I'm at a point in my career that, you know what, if I can build that one, two year agent coming in and build that that he or she to right. be, become more successful than me. I've done it already. Yeah. And they don't even work for me. <laughs> I'm serious. Yeah. But it's OK, because you know what? That's what I'm. I was put in this earth to do. Yeah, and I'm okay with that. Right. I'll be honest with you, Nick. Man. Yeah. man. So tell me. You, you know I was gonna bring it up. <laughs> you know I'm gonna bring it up, man. You are. So we put some things in front of your name here now, right? You know, real estate agent, team lead, icon, doing these things. You know, the other one is author. Yeah. My man is a certified, bona fide author now. So man, so tell me about married and real estate. I want to know. You know, act like I wasn't here for any of it. You know what? Like, what is married in real estate? That was uh, a thought. <laughs> Never thought I would come. It would become a reality, right? But it actually did because of who we surround ourselves with. Yeah. They made us think outside the box. They they see more. We go back to 
surrounding yourself with the right people that can actually really take you where you want to go. Right. And sometimes you don't even know where you want to go, but they're going to you take you. You don't even know. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So in order for us to sit down there and write this book in three and a half months with our partners like yourself, yeah. Mike, you know, I, I'll be honest with you, to me, it was just, it was a blessing. And it was more of a confirmation of what I've done in my career was the best move I've ever did. Yeah. And it continues confirming more because this is only the beginning. Dude, it's only you know, the just beginning. Just like Michael Reese looked at my face and said, well, what's next? Right. Because he sees, it's like, hey, this is only the beginning. There's right. more coming, you know? So so what can we expect to find in this married in real estate? You know, you're going to you're gonna hear my side and, and my <laughs> wife's side, Rebecca's side of, Certain circumstances that we so, got. So let, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this this way. Uh, like, so when, when, because here's what we did, guys. So with this book, we split them up. So you guys yeah. didn't see like what the other spouse was writing. So we give them the same circumstance and say, what's your side and what's hit her side? True. Was was there any story that you looked at her and like, that's what you were thinking? Or like, that's, were you surprised by anything? When I went side? back and read some of it, yes. Yeah. Because. <laughs> I don't think that, and there was, some, and I, vice versa, she felt the same way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, and I think that sometimes, you know, we uh, we know each other so well, but sometimes right. we don't try to like, you know, one of the things I, I tell everyone is that, you know, this book, this book will impact not only couples, yeah. individuals that may be struggling with something in, in their personal life or even in their relationships. It's yeah. something that that comes to a reality because let me tell you, we. I've never expected to pull. I'm very personal, and you know that. <laughs> I'm very confidential when it comes to my family and right. my marriage and everything. But it felt really good because I felt at the end something good was going to come out of this. And right. if I can impact someone's life or someone's that may, may be struggling with something, I, it don't even have to be relationship because there's more than relationship in a book, guys. Yeah. It, it's called married <laughs> real estate, but it's a lot. Right. It's a lot. Of, uh, um, we went through a lot of uh, hard times, you know, right. a lot of hard times that when I think back as I'm writing the book, it was hard. Yeah. <laughs> and to pour our heart into that, just to be able to, and I felt good about it, Nick, for the simple reason that I know that we're not the only one that went through this. Mm. And still to this day, someone is going through it. Right. So, man. <laughs> yeah. I know. I, I remember because we I think it was it was more. I'm not gonna not gonna say a name, but maybe the other author kept trying to peek in and see oh, see what you're writing. Like, yes. no, 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 not yet. We got we gotta wait to the very end. Yeah, and, and there's a part there that I, I love that um someone I forgot who it was, someone states that you know my my hero is someone we always looking at other heroes, right? But we don't realize our heroes are right in front of us, and that's our parents. Mm. Yeah, you know, seriously, you know, as I'm writing this book, and I wanted to get to a point of something of kind of uh, after I think about, I, I thought about what the gentleman did for me when I first came into the business. Right. You know, I always seen it as he was an angel, you know, sent to me. But when you realize, you know, everyone says, you know, how do you get this work ethic? How do you stay on top of everything? Yeah. I get that from my dad. Yeah. My dad, at a very young age. I still remember to this day, my, my, my siblings, me and my siblings were very young and my mom never worked. He never wanted my mom to work when we were very young just to take care of us. And he would, my dad was a turbine air engine builder. Yeah. He used to build the airplanes, uh, really? engine for the airplanes house huh. for General Electric. And I remember as a kid just going over there and just spending lunch time with him, but he would work 14, 16 hours a day, man. He was a, he was a CNC machinist back in the day. You yeah. Know? And to me, that 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 shows who I am today. Everyone says, you know, you know, why do you love, you know, you pour so much love into your wife. You, you're just so caring for her. You just want to take care of her and your kids. I said, because this is something that I learned from my, yeah, from my dad, and that's who he is, and that's who I am today. So that's what pours back into it. Yeah, man. Yeah. You know, so sometimes you know what. I can tell you this right now. Stop searching for heroes. Your heroes are there in front of you. Oh, man. That's a quote. Oh, man. That's going to make one of my quotes here these days, man. I love that. I love that. So, Sway, tell us, what, what's different about the partnership that we have here? What, what's one of those things that you, you can't, like, you can't really put a price on it? You know, what's different is, first and foremost, our friendship. Yeah. We have, we're very open. We, we discuss our issues, what issues we may have. Yeah. How can we work together to grow? And you guys are great listeners. You guys forget it. You guys come through all the time <laughs> when we need something. 
And it's actually, I don't, to me, I don't see it as a partnership anymore. It's yeah. like I gained another brother, seriously, yeah. because I appreciate that's, that's, yeah. that's the way we look at it. Rebecca, you know how, how she feels about you guys. Yeah. And it was able, you know, this, when you're able to surround yourself with, with, with people that really push you, push you, push you, push you to the point that sometimes you want to break, but they're pushing you because they want you to succeed. Yeah. And, and, and see that for yourself. And I remember through all those stressful times and on long nights writing that, man, I was yeah. like, man, whoa. Like, what, am what am I doing here? What did I sign up for? But, yeah. but you know, it, it's been great, man. I, I appreciate both of you guys and, and the whole entire team. And I'm just looking forward to it. And, you know, your follow through is amazing. You know, we it was like we had our, we still do to this day, <laughs> have our Monday oh, calls. We got stuff we're morning, knocking out. Yeah. And we're always pivoting and yeah. growing. If we have to change something, we're going to pivot, yeah. pull back, and, and, and move forward. <laughs> so it's been great. I, I have nothing to complain about. Man, man. I love it. You heard it for here first. Like I said, I want to bring out my partners, all the people that I'm so excited to be in business with. I want you to be excited too in business. Here is Hostway Soto on Creme Partners, and we'll see you guys on the next one.